Alrighty, so I'm super excited to make this video today because it is becoming one of the most asked questions in um, my DMs. A lot of people keep asking, well, if Wonderland doesn't open this season, do you think it's going to be sold? Or if Wonderland keeps getting punished by the government, what's going to happen to Wonderland? And for me, I completely understand this topic, and I'm going to explain everything in my opinions and thoughts on business um, as to why Canada's Wonderland is absolutely safe and it won't be sold anytime soon. Um, so again, I just want to, <laughs> I know it's a very quick bait thumbnail. I just want to right off the bat in the first 30 seconds, just explain Wonderland's not being sold. There's no possibility of Wonderland being sold in the near future. Wonderland would have to be shut down for, I'm going to guess like four to five years, um, for them to even consider selling off one of the most attended seasonal theme parks in North America. Um, that right there is the biggest argument and topic of discussion in this video. So Wonderland is the most attended seasonal theme park in North America. What does that do? What kind of powerhouse does that um, give you the power or positioning to do as a business? It does a lot. So Canada's Wonderland, let's say the government was in a new panorama. This is a completely different situation. Let's say Wonderland was forced to close for three years even. Okay, let's say Wonderland's not opening at all this year. Wonderland's not going to open at all next year. The business still has, with that power, being the most attended seasonal theme park, and the opportunity, so a bank or a financial institution, when they look at a property like Canada's Wonderland or a business like Canada's Wonderland, they know, and Wonderland can prove, once they're allowed to open, they're going to get 4 million guests through those gates. They're going to be able to charge more on food, charge more on parking, charge more on admission with years of data. So companies like Cedar Fair, Six Flags, and all that, they're collecting data 24-7 with their mobile apps, with their customer habits, with their average ticket um, when the guest is in the park. And that information can be used when trying to secure things like loans. Yes, Cedar Fair has taken out quite the big loan as a company, but a lot of people actually don't know. Wonderland is listed as its own separate identity in Canada, so they actually have the opportunity to seek out loans as themselves if they wanted to. Um, there are um, examples of this. In fact, I'll try and go find one. Um, and put it on the screen uh, for this video, depending on how quickly I want to get this out. But there are examples of Canada's Wonderland securing loans under its own identity. In fact, I believe at the beginning of the pandemic, Canada's Wonderland and a arcade company that Wonderland or Cedar Fair used, I'm not quite sure, sought out a small loan um, for whatever purposes that was for. But nonetheless, they do have the ability to seek out loans. They have a great relationship with the Vaughan government and the government of Ontario. At the end of the day, there's things that they can do. We now know that Wonderland actually secured $5 million from the government to cover wages, and there's other opportunities for them as well, especially coming out of this panorama. Um, but nonetheless, uh, again, when you're that kind of company, you go to a bank, let's say, let's say they were really struggling. They could go to a bank and they could go, listen, um, we need this X amount of dollars to just get us to this date. Um, this is what we expect to bring in. This is what we've brought in, in the past. It is very easy for us to pay off this loan in X amount of years. Can you give us this money? That is one um, avenue that a business can go down if they are in dire need of money. We know that Cedar Fair, especially with their big American parks opening up, isn't actually going to be as thirsty for money. And Canada's Wonderland is going to be a lot more secure with their American parks opening. There's just so many arguments that I'm even losing my train of thought explaining them as to why Canada's Wonderland is going to be sold. Again, I'm not making this video because I'm trying to clickbait anyone. I'm not making this video because I believe that it's going to be sold or there's a chance. I'm trying to calm down um, my younger fan base. Again, a lot of these questions are coming from the younger fan base um, in terms of is there a chance Wonderland can close for good? Is Wonderland going to get turned into condos? Is Wonderland going to get sold off to another park? And it absolutely not. I, I am very confident to say that even if Wonderland was shut down all of next year, which it won't, not trying to scare anyone, that it still has a 0% chance of being sold. Um, that's how confident I am. 
Again, so many different avenues. There's so many different scenarios and stories I could tell that this would end up being like a 20 minute video if I went into detail about the avenues a business can go down before it declares bankruptcy or let's say Cedar Fair was to be like, oh, this is a write off, let's just sell it. Um, or a, a condo business or an apartment complex business or a government was to approach Wonderland for their land. It's just not gonna happen. The price tag on Wonderland is astronomical, okay? So Wonderland with Winterfest is estimated um, to be around 4 million, maybe low 4 million, 200,000 guests, depending on how well Winterfest did and with Yukon Striker in the first year. That's a lot of people that you're charging $22 for parking, then admission, and then the food and beverage in the park. A lot of people don't know this, but food and beverage is the biggest profit at Canada's Wonderland. They make a ton of money off of food and beverage. It's not even the parking and the, the ticket and the fast lane and all that, but you have all those additives um, in Canada's Wonderland and other theme parks that it's just so profitable as a business that to say goodbye to that, Cedar Fair to say goodbye to that would be so hurtful to their bottom line. It just doesn't make sense. So again, I only wanted to come out here and just calm everyone down with some very quick business facts um, and some slight statistics about why a place like Canada's Wonderland won't be getting sold anytime soon, even in an absolutely worst case scenario, worst nightmare scenario, um, like them not opening in the next couple of years, which will not happen. Calm down, not even presenting that as an opportunity. Wonderland is most likely going to open mid-July, early August. Don't worry, we're heading in the right direction now. Things are starting to come together vaccine-wise. Um, and just do your part as a community. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully it calmed even one or two people down. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and I'll try and answer everyone. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great one. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Bye.